you're heading to water. Some crazy weather out here. Crazy weather. Take your easy, take it easy. You're gonna fight for a second, it's alright. There you go, good. It's a baby. It's a baby. Good fish. Finally, the ice is broken. The ones we were marking. Good job. It's 20 pounds. Did it? Where was it? In the it was just right in the corner. Turn side. Nice. Right. Pretty fish. You broke the seat pro in first. Yeah, Alright, I want to show you something here with the new 3D structure scan. It comes with an enhanced left and right scan as well. And this mark here that we're seeing repeated over and over again in about 40 feet right off our right side, our starboard side. That is actually an eel on a side planer out here. A uh, couple little split shots and an eel swimming straight down. And we're just marking that eel over and over again. So the way it's working now, it's so sensitive and looks so shallow plane wise out to the sides that we're marking our actual baits as if we would mark down lines. So that's a, that's a great improvement right there. That's worth the money if you ask me. Even if you don't use the 3D. Good stuff. Let's catch a fish now. As soon as the boat moves, keep the rod high. Nice. Yeah, we're going to have to reset everything anyway for the thing. She's got it in low gear and she's just reeling that bench shit fish in. Looks nice about the accurate reels in low gear. See how she's just cranking? She doesn't have to bump. That fish doesn't even know it's hooked yet. See how incredibly comfortable this is. Got a little chop out here. See how quiet it is. Extremely comfortable. It's a little cruising speed, about 22. First time here with the new Seapro 228. I'm going to show you these jump seats here. You see there's no hinges anywhere, no piano hinge, no round hinge stepping up here that you can get tripped up over. All you do is pull these out, locks up, and there's your seat. You got storage under here, real deep live storage. You got a wash down inlet there, output. And you walk on this thing, it's just as strong as the deck, it doesn't move at all. 
and there's rain like this, the seat stays dry. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Oh, 20. You didn't mess that one up. Turn them all loose. All right. Plunge your head first. I didn't spend more than a minute or two out of the water. Good job, brother. Thanks, brother. We've got a lot of favorites on this boat. Back here, this is a release well or a cooler. You can have it plumbed for a release well. For a striped bass fisherman, it's a great a uh, purge tank to purge your bait. Whenever you net a bunch of bait and you fill your net, you never really want to dump that straight into your tank because all the slime gets run off and all the gunk and trash fills up your tank and then you clog your filters up. So you need a purge tank to do it right. This is great. You can dump your net straight in here, run water through the pumps, get all the gunk out, and then transfer them into your bait tank. Here's my uh, other favorite. Pair live wells. You can see in the middle there's nothing for your net to get snagged on. The overflow tube. These guys own place to live right back there. And on a stripe, striper model, they're going to add a, another pump here to recirculate the water so you can pack polyfill in there for a filter material. And this is insulated as well, so you can just run and filter your water. In the summertime, you can still have your 50 degree water in here and it'll stay cold. This one's, I think, almost 20 gallons. How great is that? You can put your shad in one, herring in the other, split your shad up. Gizzards in one, thread fit in the other, however you want to do it. <laughs> 